Well, good morning guys and welcome to the show. Today we have an unboxing car stereo lab and amp dyno of this Moscone amplifier. This should be really fun. This is an awesome amplifier. I can't wait to show it to you guys, so stay tuned. When we do one of these, the best thing to do is just check the box and see if there's any information on the box that, well, will tell us a little bit about the amplifier. This is an extremely high-end amplifier and it has just elegant Moscone here on the top. When we turn it on its side, we see here that it's made in Italy, Gladen Audio of Europe. On the end of the amplifier, it provides us the model number, serial number, and also that it is a four-channel amplifier. The far end over here just has the Made in Italy logo. If we flip it over onto the back we have the Moscone. So over here in the bottom it says designed and manufactured in Italy by MOS, a dash and a www.moscone-system.it and on the last side Moscone. So not a lot to gleam from this other than this is made in Italy. Opening it up the first thing we find is the owner's manual and instructions for the amplifier itself. Underneath the amplifier, there is a tool bag as well as some screws. And here it is, the new Moscone Pro 430. This is a big four channel amplifier and we're gonna talk about all the cool specs that it has. But for some of you, you might not be familiar with Moscone line of products. The Moscone line is the amplifiers and DSP and they make several amplifiers and DSPs in that mix. This is the Pro line. They have the One line, they have the Zero line, they have the Atomos. There is literally an amplifier for every need that you could possibly have. But today we're gonna to talk about the Pro line line and what makes the Pro line so special. They make several amplifiers in the Pro line. They have the Pro 110, a one channel amplifier, the 210, the 410, and also a five channel, which is the 530. They're also working on a DSP amplifier, but let's not talk about that today. But the best way to sum up the Pro Series line of amplifiers is written by Car Hi-Fi, and they wrote, with the Pro Series, Moscone throws in power amps that belong to the finest the market can offer. Of course, this is anything but cheap fun, but for the lovers of extremely high quality power amp technology, the Moscone Pros are the number one choice. These things are beasts of sound quality. I added that piece at the end. As you can see, this thing is big, and let's start with the size. It's almost 20 inches across. You're looking at about nine and a half inches, but once you put the wire in, you'll need a good 10 inches of space, and it is two and a quarter inches tall. The reason for this size, as you can see, these are two cooling fans here, and once we get the top off, you'll see inside of it, is that this is something that I know you guys are like, oh my gosh, the holy grail. This is an A biased class amplifier. The cool thing about this amplifier is this uses technology that is brand new, the Moscone just developed. And what I mean by that is typically building an amplifier for a car, when you look at power output, on class A, it's there's usually they're not that big. They're like 30, 40 watts. This guy is a monster. It is Get ready for this, 170 watts by four at four ohm and 225 watts by four at two ohm. Keep in mind, that's a 14 four volt rating. But the technology that they're using is that high biased A-class amplifier section will stay up in that high biased A until there's a extreme draw and then it will slide into a more AB style amplifier. And there again, AB. This has been described as sounding like a very high end tube amplifier, but either way, it's something that, that like most of us have never had the ability to sit in a car and listen to an A class amplifier in that warm sound that those give. And that's why we have these two fans here. Another thing that you unique to the Moscone Pro Series amplifier is they wanted to design these and spend a lot of time in design and do things in a minimalistic way, meaning they didn't want to put a ton of things in the amplifier to fix other problems, meaning design the amplifier properly and take out all the extra parts that you don't need. When you see this circuit board, you're gonna be like, wow, there's, there's, there's real estate and it's very clean, very organized and very purposely put where it needs to. 
One of the reasons why this is so long here is because this is the heat sink right here and there are output devices that line this whole section of amplifier, which we'll get to. But before we get to that, let's talk about the features that are built into this amplifier other than just amazing sound, which to me is usually enough, but it does have other things. First thing is you'll see this, which is a little bit different color than this. That's because there's a piece of plastic on here. This is a magnetic piece that covers up all of the connection points. Right, there's magnets, we stick it on. It just pops into place. And there's a little piece of plastic here that you remove and then this is shiny and it looks really sexy. All the controls and all the screw downs are mounted here in the top of the amplifier. And then all the inputs are mounted here. We'll take a look at the tops first. You have A input, you have B input because it is a four channel. And they are a little different. The first switch is your input level control, meaning are you gonna be running this thing high level or low level? Along with that feature, it also has the capability to auto sense to turn on the amplifier. On the channel B, it has high level input also. Another feature on channel B is input A plus B. What that means is if I plug an RCA into inputs A and I want it to auto populate B, I push that in. And doing that, that'll make my my input B actually an output that I can then feed to another amplifier. Other ways to input sound into this is direct DSP. There's one here on A and there's a mirror of it here on B. If we're gonna be hooking this up to one of the Moscone DSPs, like this guy here, then we'll wanna select direct DSP, pushing both of those in. Gain controls are next. This has across both high level, low level, an input sensitivity of 0.35 volts all the way up to 12 volts of input, depending on where you have this switch. And then that takes us to the crossover section, which channel A and B are a little different. The first button up is a 10 times switch. The second button is the high pass on and off. This is adjustable between 43 and 500 if the 10 time multiplier switch is off. If I turn it on, now it's adjustable between 430 and 5000. Channels three and four, it has a low pass option with the frequency between 43 and 500. And then it has a high pass option with the frequency between 18 and 220. Moving down to the other end of the amplifier, the fuse is located here here on the top. This one uses 150 amp fuse and the Allen keys for your four gauge power input. And then in the middle here, you have your speaker wire connections. It is what we call an over under, meaning channel one is located here, channel two is located here. There's also a bridge setting, which is negative from the top and positive from the top on the other side. And with that, let's flip it over and take a look at those inputs. Inputs for RCA channel A is located here. This would also be that AB input if you're going to push in that button. B input, if you're gonna be running channels B on a subwoofer, you have your subwoofer volume here, that is optional. Inputs for channels A, channel one, channel two. B is the same. Then moving down to the end, the remote turn on is a slide on terminal that they do give you in the parts bag. Ground is located here first, next to power. Before we head over and dyno this amplifier, let's take the top off of this amplifier and look at that minimalistic approach to high-end audio. Real world amp dyno? Certified Dyno Run, 4 ohm. 126, 131, 2 ohms. Next, 199 and 208. Uncertified Dyno Run, 4 ohms. 142, 146, 2 ohms is next. 211, 220. Dynamic Power 4 ohm test is next. 170 and 183. 2 ohm test, 301, 330. With the dyno done, it's time to put it into the lab so that we, and you a little bit, get the opportunity to listen to it. Yeah. If you've never watched a lab video before, it's really simple. We have Fernando's G35 set up with a test bench in the back. That allows us to put in any amplifier we want, any DSP we want. Right now we have a high-end set of speakers in here. We're gonna listen to it on, and that's about it. Let's hop to it and get it into the trunk. In the back of the lab, we have power, there's signal over on that side, 
All the speaker wire connections are on barrier strips, so it's very easy for us to add the amplifier in. Hiding behind it is also a set of permanent amplifiers that stay in the car. In this case, one of those is gonna be running our subwoofer. We've used our DD1 and our CC1 to calibrate the amplifier for the tweeters and the gain. And then once we've figured out what our maximum gain was, we were able to turn down from there, find the balance we like between the tweeter and the mid. That is correct. We've been sitting in the car for about a half hour now. Yes. Because we really, well, we wanted to hear it. We've been talking about this amplifier on and off on the show for like a month and a half now. And we just talk, dying to hear yeah, it. Yeah, we're dying to hear it. Nick was yeah. talking about it last night when we filmed our show with Nick Wingate on amplifiers. If you haven't watched that show, I strongly recommend going and watch it. It is a live show that we did. Now, let's hop into the car and we'll let you guys hear some royalty free music. And, well, you can. Kind of make it a judgment from that. I know it's YouTube, but yeah. let's let's just take a listen, shall we? Yeah. We've been in here listening to this hot boxing the heck out of it, and definitely this is by far the best sounding amplifier we've ever tested. Hands down, this thing is the most incredibly sounding amplifier incredibly incredible sounding amplifier it's holy jesus i mean we've been playing a yeah. wide variety of songs and even some songs that we know just fall apart yeah. when we play them and it has just just effortlessly played them like it was no big deal and that was something that nick used as a term when we talk to him, it just effortlessly does things. And he's not wrong. The mid bass, the response, the snappiness of the tweeter, everything about it just, it seems like it doesn't care. It can just do it. It's kind of like you. that. Yes. Yeah, it's like that annoying kid on the soccer field that just can totally pay lay it up and you're just looking at him and going, I've been trying to do that for like months. What you know, hell? like the whole team is dying and he's like perfectly normal running. Soccer is life. Yeah. yeah. Oof. <laughs> This uh, it, is this amplifier. Yeah. with no subwoofer if you ever have the opportunity if you're at a sound competition or you go into a retailer and they have a Moscone Pro amp on display in display in a car for you to hear specifically this 430 I strongly recommend getting your just getting in there and jamming out yeah. listening to yeah. a wide variety of music if they'll let you if not listen to whatever they'll play because it is an experience for sure yes I mean, listen to the excitement coming from Fernando. I, I find another song, so let's let's just hear this one. All right, one more song. class fashion or even a b class the amplifier is hot it it is no joke yeah but the one thing i will say is it's not so hot the way they designed the exterior of the amplifier with the heat sink down below the grill yeah and the fans on top of it the actual like chassis isn't that the, bad like the, i the just heat yeah yeah the heat dissipation is really nice like i just got in there and moved it around some and like i didn't ah I didn't do one of those things so that's kind of cool no that's great uh definitely this amplifier is worth now i don't mean to torture you but we're just gonna leave it in your car and you're gonna have to drive around with it for a while uh, really 
I don't really want to do that. All right, so let's, let's just go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, a bit of a tease for the next why we have this amplifier, they've asked us to go ahead and throw in a set of the Clayton speakers to go with it. So that'll be the next uh, episode with this amplifier. We're going to throw those in gently. And we'll take a listen with those speakers and see how it sounds. So stay tuned for that to come in the next couple weeks. Yep. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for giving us your time and watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it as always. That's right. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Fernando, if you please. On to the next one, guys. You guys have a great night as always. We'll see you later next time. Bye. See you.